In this video, I will show you how to put multiple widgets, but this time in a row. So one after the other and not one over the other. Okay, so let's start this. If you understand the concept, we use inside the body argument, a column widget that have the children argument with a list of text. Okay, now what we can do is replace the column widget. We can replace it with a row just to show you how it works. So as soon as we do that, we have all text widget one after the other. So as you can see, the row will place widget uh, horizontally and the column will place widget vertically. Okay, that's good. And now what we could do is, by example, if we would like to have uh, four text widget and then four like this on the horizontal axis, I will, I will make control Z to reboot the column inside my children of my column. After all the text, we can add a row because yes, we can add row and column one insert in, inside the other and we can use a row. So we will say control space to see the argument and it is the children argument. We take it and then we could say text, text widget. We select this one and we can say row by example, like that. So as you can see, the row is displayed right here. I will explain you why the text is going on this direction on the next video. But for now, let's just work on the row. We will put a comma right here and then we will say right click and uh, format document. So shift alt F. Okay. Then we can take the text row. We can copy that and paste it by example, three time. As you can see, we will have our column with four multiple text widget. And then we have inside our column, a row widget that displayed three times the word row. So that was it for this video. And in the next one, as I told you, we will learn why the code is going in the middle. So see you on the next one. Bye.